Well, I um, I feel, and I suspect you do too, that a lot of people see no conflict between science and religious belief. Um, but do you think there is a danger that this um, dyadic approach, this um, homologous approach, might um, seem to suggest that science and religious are essentially the same? Yes, I think that would be a, that, that would be a mistake. That obviously isn't true. I mean, the, simply the, the nature of God is, 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 is uh, I'm, well, put it in a very simple sense, science is concerned with a, an impersonal dimension of reality and has to course therefore to repetition and to experiment. And that doesn't exist in any form of personal knowledge, mm. at least of all in, <coughs> in, in religious knowledge. So that, that's, uh, that's a very important disanalogy from God. It doesn't mean there is a motivated belief in these subjects, mm. but uh, I mean, it's, it's a bit like, it's a bit like uh, I mean, another, another example, of course, is our, our, our long term historical scientific theories like evolutionary theory or cosmology. Mm. Yes. We don't have several histories of life to to think away or several mm. universes to look at. So you have to make the best of what, you, what you've got. So, that, um, yes, I mean, I, th I, I think that science and religion have things to say to each other because they're both concerned with questions like what is the nature of reality, what is the purpose of, mm. of, 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 of the existence of the universe, what is human nature, what is human posture. These are things they have things to say, uh, each have things to say about it. And what they say has, at the end of the day, has to be compatible, yeah. consonant with each other, yeah. um, but not deducible from each other, but in, in the each other. And, and therefore, there will always be, in my view, interactions. But it would be a mistake to allow one half of the, of the act to take over the other, yeah. to assimilate religion to science. Yeah. Well, if you, this, this may amuse you. Um, some years ago, someone said to me, Dawkins thinks that science proves God doesn't exist. But Polkingholm seems to think science proves God does exist. I always make it clear that, <laughs> that, science, that natural theology of God isn't a matter of proof. Mm. It, 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 I think it's a matter of best explanation. You I think can't that, prove the existence of God, can you? What? You, it, you can't, no one can prove the existence of God. No, no that, that, that is, that, that's absolutely right. But it, it, it's, um, of course it constrains the, it constrains the conversation. Mm. And, and I mean, nobody could, nobody could say. I mean, I think the argument, for example, about cosmic fertility and cosmic um, intelligibility—they are very remarkable facts about the world in which we live. And I think that, um, that the belief of a divine mind behind them is the best explanation, the most satisfying explanation. Yeah. But it, I, I couldn't say that it's, it's, it's absolutely um, uh, unavoidable that you, if you don't, don't see it this way, of course, you're being stupid. Well, I mean, I find that you produce a convergence yes. in a homology, well, yeah, which well, is very convincing. Well, convergence is perhaps too strong a word. Yeah. As I say, it's, it's consonance. 